Captain K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent B-9 reporting for duty. Agent B-9, I am assigning you to Colonel Cranach at the fortress here. Somehow, military information of the greatest importance is being stolen at this point. We are sure of this fact. Last week, a spy was killed attempting to leave the country. Complete reports of tests conducted here less than 24 hours before his death were found on his body. Here is a complete record of the case. Report to the colonel at once. Keep me informed. A few hours later, Agent B-9 and his assistant, Rita Drake, drove to the fortress. They arrived just after lunch and found the colonel resting on the porch of his home in Officer's Row. I hope we haven't arrived at an inopportune time, Colonel. Not at all. Not at all, Beach. I, I am very glad to see both you and me, Drake. Sit down, please. Thank you. Well, colonel, this is as good a place to talk as any. Have you any theories as to how the defense plans were stolen? No, b man. I have no idea at all. I am completely bewildered. They've spent hours, many hours, trying to reach a solution. I'm certain my officers are trustworthy and yet... Suppose you tell me all about the field tests, where they were conducted and under what conditions. Well, our testing fields are about ten miles to the south. Now, I'm absolutely certain the tests could not have been observed. Absolutely certain. Now go on. None of the men taking part could possibly know the details. Of course, each would know what he himself was doing. But to fit the whole together, no. No, it is impossible. No one but myself and my officers could possibly do that. The final plan was drawn on the field? No. No. After the tests were completed, my staff gathered in my office. We all had our notes. And the final defense plan was drawn there. We worked them out there together, plotted the plan in detail. And a little after six in the evening, we placed everything in my safe. Your office is under guard. Oh, of course. There's a sentry on duty night and day. Ah, you see, Agent B-9, it's bewildering. It, it's in fact almost impossible. Within just a few hours after the plans were put in the safe, a spy was carrying a copy out of the country. And yet... As far as I can see, the papers in the safe show no sign of being touched. Mm. Sounds baffling. Must be some explanation. Uh, where is your office, Colonel Cranach? About a hundred yards from the new administration building. The new administration building. Is that the building now under construction that we noticed as we came in? Yes, that is it. Mm. 
It will be completed in another 60 days. I am presently working in a temporary shelter, a typical army field office set up for me where the old administration building burned down last year. I see. That's interesting. You say it's a typical office of the type you would use in the field? Yes. Was it uh, built by your men here at the fortress? Why, yes, yes, of course. Then I want to see that office, Colonel. Let's go there at once before word spreads around that I'm here. Rita and the colonel walked to the temporary office quarters. B-9 asked permission for himself and Rita to examine the office thoroughly before the colonel entered. You want me to wait outside the door? But why, B-9? I have my reasons, colonel. I won't keep you standing here long. You will grant me permission to go in with Miss Drake alone? Why, yes, of course. Thank you. Rita, I don't want you to speak a word above a whisper when we get inside. I understand, B-9. We'll go in. Very large. Stand right where you are for a minute. B-9, what are you looking for? I'm not sure, Rita. I'll look around the safe first. Everything's all right here. Now the window. You're not looking for a bomb. No, but something equally dangerous. Wait, I'm going to move the desk. Don't want to make any noise right now, but... Everything seems in order. Wait. Wait. Around through the disc. Benign, what is it? Don't talk, Rita. Now, open the door and call the colonel. Is it all right to talk? Yes, I'll explain when the colonel's here. Colonel, will you come in, please? Yes, sir, then. Are you both satisfied that... Why, you've been moving the furniture. Yes, colonel, and I found this round silver disc. It's a new type of dictaphone button, Colonel. Here's the answer of how the defense plans were stored. Someone listen to you. Every word in this office is taken down and copied. They spy. But he can hear us now. He'd get away. No, I've disconnected the wires. In just a minute, I'm going to attach them again. So you're going to do what? Colonel, listen to my plan. In just a minute, I'm going to reconnect these wires. Then... I want you to greet me as if I were just arriving. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I think I do. As soon as the dictaphone is connected, I'll greet you and ask you to have your officers assemble here to talk over the change in the defense plans. You'll call your officers, and while you're talking, I'll trace these wires and find out who is listening. The colonel's staff was assembled in his office. As they talked, B-9 traced the dictaphone wires. They led him to the radio room of the fortress. A few minutes later, he rejoined Rita outside the colonel's office. I discovered the spy here within the fortress, Rita. It's the radio man. I saw him listening while the staff talked. Have you placed him under arrest? No. The colonel is changing the defense plans. The spy is taking everything down. It's a perfect plan, Rita. The radio man worked with the electricians. He probably put the dictaphone in when he was helping wire the temporary office or when the telephone was installed. He listens whenever he wants to. No one thinks it's queer to see the radio operator wearing earphones. It's perfect. When are you going to arrest him? Tonight, probably. The colonel is outlining a new defense plan now. Of course, it's all false, but the spy doesn't know it. And tonight, he'll probably try to deliver the plans to the man who employs him. We'll follow and arrest them both. was right. That night, the wireless operator left the fortress and went into the city. On his way, he stopped and purchased a newspaper, which he folded and put under his arm. When he reached the city, he went directly to a great cathedral. Agent B-9 and Rita followed him into the church. I 
Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. 